Hello and welcome. My name is Lee and this is Cooking Keto with Lee. If you're looking for a tasty, fun to make Halloween cookie recipe, then today's recipe is for you. And if you've been enjoying my videos, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. These yummy cookies are spooky, adorable, and perfect for Halloween. Are you ready? Let me show you how to make them. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and line two cookie sheets with parchment paper. Add three cups of almond flour to a large bowl. Add in a quarter cup plus one teaspoon of granular erythritol, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a pinch of nutmeg. Using a fork, break up any lumps and mix well. Use the fork to form a well in the center of the flour mixture. To the well, add two large eggs, four ounces of cream cheese, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, and an eighth a teaspoon of orange extract. Using the fork, mix the ingredients until a sticky dough begins to form. Turn the dough out onto a clean work surface and knead it until it forms a well-combined and workable cookie dough. Shape the dough into a ball and wrap it in a piece of parchment paper to keep it from drying out and set it on the side for now. For rolling out pie crusts and cookie dough, I like to use blue painter's tape to secure my parchment paper to my work surface because it keeps the paper in place making rolling out the dough a lot easier. Now we're ready to roll out the dough. Break a piece of the dough off the ball that you formed earlier and place it on the secured parchment paper. Rewrap the rest and set it aside for now. Place another piece of parchment over the top of the dough and using your hands press to flatten it out a bit. Now using a rolling pin roll out the dough to an even thickness of about 1 8 to 1 quarter of an inch thick. Remove the top sheet of paper and grab your favorite Halloween cookie cutters. Use the cutters to cut out the cookies and carefully place them onto the lined cookie sheet. When the cookie sheet is full, place it into the preheated oven to bake for about 15 minutes or until the cookies are lightly golden brown around the edges. Repeat the process until you have used up the rest of the dough, re-rolling the scraps as needed. Allow the baked cookies to cool completely. While they cool, we'll make the icing. Grab a clean bowl and add in one and a half cups of powdered erythritol and four tablespoons of egg white powder. Use a whisk to break up any lumps and to combine the powders. Add in a half a cup of water. Use an electric mixer to blend the ingredients. Add in one teaspoon of vanilla and an eighth a teaspoon of orange extract. Scrape down any powder off the sides of the bowl and using the electric mixer, whip until the mixture forms soft peaks. This part will take some patience and may require switching hands every now and then as it can take a few minutes to reach the desired consistency. When the icing is ready, it should look like this. At this point, we're ready to divide the icing and begin coloring it so we can decorate the cookies. Now in developing this recipe, I noticed that most of the more familiar brands of food coloring contain some form of sugar, and it's usually one of the first ingredients listed which means it's the predominant ingredient used. In fact, it was surprisingly difficult to find a food coloring that didn't have sugar in it. So I got these. These contain no sugar or corn syrups. They're absolutely sugar-free and they're compliant with both the ketogenic and the diabetic diets. These food dyes are from an American company called DecoPack. DecoPack is a brand that is widely used in commercial bakeries. In fact, you can't order them directly from the company unless you have a business account with them. They don't sell their products to consumers, but I found that you can order them from Amazon, and I'll put a link for you in the description. I need to let you know that I am in no way affiliated with DecoPack. 
and I make nothing for telling you about their product. This is just me trying to help you find compliant ingredients so that you can have fun baking without derailing your health or your progress. Now each bottle of color costs between five and eight dollars, so they are a bit of an investment, but the bottles are really large as you can see, and the expiration dates on the bottles I just purchased are good until July of 2026. So literally, they'll be good for years of baking, and with the holiday seasons right around the corner, I know I'll be putting them to good use. So I've decided to do all my white cookies first. I'll add a little white coloring to my icing just to brighten it up. Begin by shaking the bottle really well and then add a few drops to some icing that you've portioned off. Mix it up and let's get decorating. You can use either a pastry bag with a very small decorating tip or a plastic storage bag with just a tiny bit of the corner cut off to decorate your cookies. Let me show you how to do it. Begin by outlining a cookie with the icing. Then fill in the middle. Use a toothpick to blend and spread the icing evenly across the cookie. Use the point of the toothpick to get rid of any air bubbles in the icing. Now let me show you again with a black cookie. I've already mixed up some black icing. I'm using a glass to hold my pastry bag while I fill it because it makes it easier to fill and less messy. To avoid getting stained hands, I'm wearing disposable gloves. Now it's the same as before. Carefully outline the cookie, fill it in, and use the toothpick to finish spreading the icing and to remove any air bubbles. It's best to wait for the first coat of icing to dry completely before applying more if you want a double layer of icing on your cookies. I've also found that laying colors next to each other works best if you allow the first color to set a little. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe for these spooky and fun Halloween cookies. If you'd like more cookie recipes, let me know in the comments below. For more great dessert recipes, check out my desserts playlist. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.